Nikita Koloff, the Russian nightmare, no, the devil's nightmare here from It's Time to Man Up, challenging men to step into their true manhood. Your chosen Truth Network podcast is starting in just a few seconds. Enjoy it, share it, but most of all, thank you for listening to the Truth Podcast Network. This is the Truth Network. The power of a praying mother. Wow. Wow. Wait till you hear this interview. It's coming up in just a second. I wanted to tell you about it and set it up. The sound quality isn't the best, but I was able to catch Nick Logan, who was one of the leaders putting this whole movie together. It's called Paul's Promise. This guy was full of hate, anger, racism, and his mama prayed for him. His mama got on her knees and prayed for this man, and he became an agent of transformation. You're going to love this movie. You're going to love the interview that's going to tell you about it in just a second. Stu Epperson here, host of Truth Talk. Thank you to all of our awesome listeners, our wonderful affiliates that are brave enough to carry this program. I'm talking the Wilkins Radio Network, all of our friends at AFR and their wonderful stations. Some of the Salem Radio Networks carry the program. The His Radio Network, His Radio Talk across the upstate of South Carolina. All the Truth Network stations and our Truth Network friends and affiliates in, in northern uh, Florida, southern Georgia, uh, in Brunswick, Georgia and 91.7 FM in Jacksonville. Let me tell you real quick about David Jeremiah. If you haven't been to one of his events, there's still two of them are left. Go to davidjeremiah.org. He's coming up in Greenville, South Carolina, and then followed by his final event of the year is in Buffalo, New York. Tell all your friends. I know you maybe you can't get there, but please email, text, tell all your friends to go to davidjeremiah.org, order a bunch of tickets, take a church group, take a bus, You'll be thoroughly blessed. Recently, we packed the house in Raleigh, North Carolina, the PNC Arena. So amazing to meet all of our wonderful listeners. So many people came up to us and hugged us and told us how much they loved listening to Truth Talk and Dr. J on the Truth Network and on other great stations that carry his program as well. So I just want to encourage you to go to those events. I want to encourage you to go to this movie. It's called Paul's Promise. Stay tuned because right here, right now, we're going to play the clip I was able to interview Nick Logan, one of the directors of the movie Paul's Promise, on the show. We caught each other. Not the best signal, but you're going to hear it. You're going to be encouraged. And be sure you go to truthnetwork.com and download this podcast when it comes out later. Also, the podcast of the show I did with a KGB agent who killed pastors, converted to Christ, and now he started a seminary in Moscow, Russia. So you're going to hear that entire interview at my pod, at our podcast network. So we have all kinds of great podcasts where you can just listen to previous programs that you missed, and you can share those with friends that you're trying to encourage and share the good news of Jesus with. So thank you, all of our affiliates, all of our listeners, and here comes the interview that I did recently on this special movie called Paul's Promise right here on Truth Talk. Can the power of God overcome hate and racism? Can the power of God answer a precious, saintly mother's prayer? Well, you see all that happening in a brand new movie that everyone has got to go see like this weekend. It's called Paul's Promise. And I am on with a man of God who is the Lord put this on your heart, Nick Logan. This movie, everyone's talking about it. It's coming out anytime now in theaters. What is going on? Why did you? What inspired you to, to be a part of this, brother? Well, thank you so much for being able to talk today. The, the movie, Paul's Promise, which you can find at paulspromisemovie.com, is a true story of a pastor who was a bigot, frankly, in the 60s, and he had a road to Damascus by experience and turned his life over to Christ and started an amazing ministry, which has fed literally thousands, if not millions of kids, over the years that have come through in Little Rock, Arkansas. So very inspired by the, the redemption uh, of Christ through the prayers of a mother and also the prayers of a, a black friend of his that he disrespected. Wow. And, and Nick Logan, you know, this movie comes out in an interesting time of year, Halloween, trick or treat. Of course, you and I like to call it Reformation Day, you know, the, the, the day that, that Martin Luther not, you know, nailed those 95 theses and what a great day that is in our history, but there's, there's some pretty trashy, even sadly, even Christians are going to pony up money, maybe, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks counting popcorn to go see movies like Halloween, you know, a bunch of slasher demonic stuff when 
there's a movie that could change someone's life that you guys are making, right? Absolutely. That's the one thing that I've been sharing with everybody is if you want good Christian films, and I hear that from so many people, oh, I just wish there was better films out there. If you don't go see my film, go see the film that support what I believe we need to support, which are good faith-based films. It's the only way that Hollywood is going to bring them back. Our opening weekend is so crucial because that's what's going to sell Hollywood on us producing more films and getting those films out to the, to the body. The one thing that is very disturbing is when you walk in, you see people going to a Halloween 14 or going to this new homo movie or you see what's happened to Disney. So if you can support our film, we'd be very blessed. Pray about it and pray about bringing some people with you. Yeah, and you could – there's people listening right now that could pack out a theater, grab a busload of the youth group, take them to the movie, have a fun night out after the ball game or, or during, you know, on, on Saturday or go to the Sunday matinee, you know, Sunday afternoon – Nick Logan is my special guest. He's one of the executives behind this movie, Paul's Promise. What can people know? What do you want people to know? Yeah, obviously, you want to give away everything. It's a quick interview kind of teaser to get folks excited, Nick. But what do you want people to know about Paul's Promise? Why should they go take time to see this movie? Well, as I shared, the number one thing that Hollywood looks at is box office. And that opening weekend, if you can find it at paulspromisemovie.com, the, sto- the, the show times will be listed at each of the theaters. If you can go the opening night, that's what tells Hollywood that we've had enough. We want good faith-based films. And that's the thing. If you put it off, yeah, I'll just get to it. We need to take every thought captive, as the Bible says, and this is a way to do it. And like I said, if you don't go see my film, support the other Christian films. But each one of these films fuels the faith-based Christian film market. I love it. And this, you know, of course, Paul's promise. There's a lot of action. There's some pretty intense moments here. I mean, this is going to be, you know, be, you, pe- people are captivated. I mean, I, I got chills watching the trailer. Yeah, you, it's so true, Stu. And what you're going to see, this is not, there's grit to this. This is about a true man's struggle with alcoholism, a true man's struggle with the fact that his father is abusive. But we handle it very well. There's no violence that you'll see, but the Holy Spirit, I think, protects us from that. It's rated PG. We've taken every word out of it that could be controversial, but it's a gritty film. It is not going to be your happy, everybody's happy film. It's going to be a real-life film, people dealing with death, people dealing with racism. And I really believe that God gave us an amazing cast. Uh, Dean Cain is in it. Uh, We have um, a group right now, uh, including Ryan O'Quinn, Cherry Rigby, Nancy Stafford, and Joseph Cannon, all of which have won awards for the film. And we've won three, by God's grace, three best pictures, one second place, but two first place best pictures. What's the website, uh, Nick, that people can go watch the trailer, find out where they can go see it, and make sure they go to it? Absolutely. The website is paulspromisemovie.com, paulspromisemovie.com. It'll show theaters that it's at. If it's not near you, hit the demand button. And if you can buy group tickets or go buy tickets right now, it encourages more theaters. In fact, one of the theaters, Cinemark, is ready to open up 30 more theaters if we show traction that the theaters have already got out there. I love it. It's a little loud. Uh, Nick is running 100 miles an hour, and I am too. I'm Stu Everson. This is a quick truth talk movie moment with my buddy Nick Logan in this amazing new movie. You must go see Take Your Family, find a theater near you all over the country, Paul's Promise Movie. Dot com. Nick, God bless you, man. Thanks for all you do for the kingdom of God through all you do with, you know, with Cornerstone and you know, credit card processing and all the, in this movie now, you are on the big screens pointing people to the ultimate Cornerstone, Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Thank you, brother. God bless you. This is the Truth Network.